One of my favorite topics to talk about is how to fix high soil pH because a lot of people don't think it can be done and it absolutely can be done. I'm not going to say it's cheap or easy or quick, but it absolutely can happen on your farm if you really want it to. When you've got 25 or 30 crops where you're going to be the primary decision maker on your farm, why wouldn't you try to fix this? You've got a lot of time here and a lot of crops that are going to be impacted. It, sure, if you just had one year and you said, hey, I've only got this ground for one year, I've got to try and maximize my profitability, fine. Maybe on a long-term fix, you don't invest the money. But when you have 20 or 30 crops that are going to be impacted by the decision that you make today, I, I just don't see okay, any other so, way than, than fighting that high all pH right, so right he, now. So here's the thing. You've basically got high pH for one of two reasons. One is poor drainage. That's a relatively easy fix. Again, not super quick or cheap. And then there's also, all right, my soil naturally has high pH. Usually that's because all oh, my good topsoil got eroded off and now I'm farming subsoil. So we'll talk about fixing both of those situations first. If it's poor drainage, when you have poor drainage, usually what you're going to find over time is your salt levels creep up, then your soil pH levels follow. We've seen this in many areas of the country over a long period of time. It didn't just happen overnight, but that poor drainage continued, 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 it got worse, worse, worse. Now we got to go deal with this many, many years later after it should have been fixed. The way you take care of this problem is putting some drain tile in the ground. And it absolutely can be done almost anywhere if you really want to do it. The heavier your soil, the higher your organic matter levels, the closer together your tile lines need to be. They might need to be 20, 25 feet apart. I don't know. It just depends on your soil type. In many soils, 40 or 50 feet apart with those tile spacings is fine. But the point is you've got to get good drainage out there. That's the first step to fixing that issue. Then the next thing if you want to lower that pH is if you don't already have excess sulfur in your soil, add some sulfur out there. And I'm talking talking about elemental sulfur that absolutely can lower your soil pH regardless of what the conditions are and what the cause is, whether it was the poor drainage, whether it was the, hey, now I'm farming subsoil situation. Either way, put some elemental sulfur out there that can lower your soil pH. Well, it's not a long-term fix. It's not like you're going to apply elemental sulfur one time and your pH is going to stay down forever, but it's going to bring that pH down at least for a short period of time. Perhaps it's going to be for a month or two, maybe for a season, depending on how high your pH is and, and, and a lot of different factors. All right, here's the next thing. Take a look at your base saturation calcium percentage. Unless that calcium percentage is above 65%, you probably need to add some lime or calcium sulfate, which is gypsum. Get some more calcium out there, raise your calcium percentage. If I've got lots of calcium out there, I have much better pore space, much better a much better chance for that water to quickly filter down through my soil and get down to my tile lines and end up out of the field. If I start at 8.5 pH to get down to a 7, I'd say we're looking at between 10 and 20 years after I fix the drainage, after I've gotten elemental sulfur out, after I've taken care of the I need more calcium thing. This is not a short term deal, this is a long term fix, but you absolutely can get this done. You just have to start by fixing the drainage problem, get some tile out there. When we start talking about this other situation where let's say that my soil naturally has high pH. Usually that means you've lost your topsoil, you're farming subsoil. Doesn't always work that way, but that's generally what we see. So if that's the case, what do we need to do? We need to build new topsoil. Is that going to happen overnight? Absolutely not. Okay, this is a 10, 20, 30 year fix, but we can do this. You can build new topsoil. And here's what we want you to do. We want you to reduce tillage, so either go to no-till or strip-till. Then we want you to plant nothing but high residue, high rooting crops. So we're talking about corn here, maybe wheat for example. We want lots of roots down in that soil and we want to leave them as undisturbed as possible and to try cover to build crops, organic matter. cover crops in between so we keep root mass out in the field and we keep things growing and we protect yep. the soil that way too. Absolutely. Then as much as you can, use manure, use biological products. And finally, something you might not have thought about a lot, but when you're planting nothing but corn and wheat, you know, these crops that have lots of roots, they're also grass crops that need what? lots of nitrogen. Well, when you put lots of nitrogen out over time, that's going to slowly 
lower your pH as well. So we want to make sure we have good sulfur levels, just like we talked about before. Use some elemental sulfur, but even use some ammonium sulfate. Use regular sulfur too. Have good sulfur levels, have good nitrogen levels. Raise these crops, and over time, you'll build topsoil, you'll lower that pH, but it's just a long-term fix. And if you've got erosion issues, that may mean putting in some terraces. It may mean changing the direction that you're farming through that field to go across the sides of those hills instead of up and down. That may mean splitting the field up into some different chunks uh, so you can go crossways on those hills to try and reduce erosion. Uh, it may not be the easiest to farm that way, but that might be what you have to do. Certainly reducing tillage is another way to protect your soils and reduce erosion. And the big thing is we talk often in agriculture about how we want to leave our land and, our, and the environment in general in better condition for the next generation. Here's your chance. Here's your chance to make a difference with your life and what you're doing on your farm. Fix that high soil pH. You absolutely can get it done. Well, one other thing you certainly have to get done right now this year is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed coming up later in the show.